Hey everyone, this is Apoth with DJ Tech Tools. Ableton's drum rack will let you apply a device chain to all cells or even a single cell, but it won't let you assign it to a group of particular cells. This means you can't use glide or portamento between notes while you're playing. In this tutorial, I want to introduce to you the concept of rack patching. We'll layer our existing drum rack with our patch and use a couple of MIDI effects to get everything working. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I've got here um, just a regular old drum rack, my sound pack preset, and I just threw some stock drums from Ableton's set on there, like a 909 kick and a couple, like a snare and a clap and just a couple of hi-hats, just something to make rhythm with so you can start drumming. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take that drum rack that you're building your sound pack into and you want to group it. So you can right click and then click group. And that's going to group your drum rack into an instrument rack. Okay, so we grouped our drum rack now. I've actually got a patch that I made the other day from the Korg Volca bass, and I want to use it on a few buttons. So here's what it sounds like. Okay, so let's use that patch. We're going to drag it from our area over here onto our sound pack, and we're going to put it in the instrument rack below the drum rack. Okay, now that we've got that there, let's group this again, like we did with the drum rack, into its own rack. So right click and hit group. Okay, and then you can expand that here with this chain with that button to show the chains and let's right click it and rename it to container. The next thing you want to do is determine what notes you want to trigger your patch within this sound pack. So let's go back to the drum rack and then look and see what notes are listed here, which we're going to use four notes here. So that's going to be C2, C sharp 2, G sharp 1, and A1, those are the notes that we want to trigger our patch. Keep in mind these aren't the notes that you may hear whenever you press the buttons, but they're only the buttons that we want to trigger the patch with. We can use Ableton Scale MIDI plugin to act as a button chooser. So let's go up here and drag a scale from MIDI effects, and we'll drag that in front of our container that we put our patch in. I want to right click that and rename it to button chooser. When you're doing stuff like this, it's best to keep everything renamed and organized. That way you know what you're looking at and you don't get lost. Okay, so after that, let's make a MIDI clip. We're going to just record and literally press all the buttons down that we want to activate the patch. You can press them at the same time. It's going to sound like crap, but let's do it. Okay, so that's all the buttons that we had. Okay, so this is our MIDI clip that we just made, and we can rename it to Figure Out Buttons. Okay, go within there, click on the clip, and then go down here to the clip view, and just drag all this, drag it to the front. And then we'll make them all the same length, or just close to the same length. And we'll set this loop to be a bit shorter. We don't want it to be four bars. We just really want it to be one bar. So now when you click play on this, it's just going to loop over and over. And what we're going to do is go back to our container here and figure out what buttons to deselect from the scale plugin so that we know that the ones that we do want to work are the only ones that work. So you can see the ones that are working that we do want are the ones that light up here and here. So everything else, unselect. Okay, now you can stop that. Okay, so now what you may notice is since we're triggering all of this, this whole instrument rack, with the same MIDI notes that are incoming, 
you will probably run into realizing that um, C1 will also trigger whatever C2 is triggering. So the patch will still, even though we've chosen what buttons we want, because C here is the same note that the kick drum is on, those notes that are duplicated at the bottom will still trigger our patch. That's now what we want. So how do we fix that? Let's drag another scale plug in from the MIDI effects. And this time we're going to put it inside the container in front of our patch. OK, now we already know what notes were selected. So let's turn the other ones off. OK, and now here you can choose what notes you want those to be. And we'll do that in a moment. First, though, let's go into the key zone editor and block out those incoming notes that we don't want. So we don't want anything from C1 through C or through D sharp three. So now if you look at those, whenever you press any of these bottom three buttons, they're still active in the button chooser but they don't play or play or trigger our patch. So we're good there now. So we're almost done. Next thing we want to do is go back into the sound pack and we're going to be in our container where our patch is. Go past the button chooser into the container and then look at your second scale. Let's rename it. So right click and rename. And we're going to change that one to transposer. Now, what, since we already selected what buttons that we wanted in the button chooser, and we also deselected the ones we don't want in the transposer, we can move these around and make them be whatever buttons we want. So currently, they are, it looks like, let's go back to the drum rack, looks like they're currently G sharp one, A one and A sharp one, C two, C sharp two, and D two, and we're gonna make those something completely different. So here's what they are now. Let's move these around and make them what we want. So our first one, let's move it down one. And you can make this, if you're into theory, then you can fit it to whatever you want. I do a lot of stuff by ear, so I'm just going to do it by ear. That sounds pretty good to me like that scale. So here's the fun part. Let's test it. Well, everyone, that's it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something. And if you use it, let me know what you do. I'd like to see it in a video, or hopefully I'll see it in the sound pack. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.